Spring is in the air here in Tennessee and I am ready for it. Today I'm gonna be sharing how I made this adorable birdhouse using 100% recycled materials. So let's get started. Step one, salvage some wood. A couple summers ago, we saved some boards from an old building that was being torn down. I'm gonna be using a red oak board and that is about eight foot long. Step two, gather a ton of canning jar lids. My sister-in-law actually gave these to me to use for some crafts. Step three, build a birdhouse. I began with cutting two 20 inch boards that will serve as the front and the back of the birdhouse. And then I cut a 23 inch board and this will be my base. For the sides, I cut two 15 inch boards. And then I used a speed square to get the angle of the roof that I wanted. And I traced that out onto the boards and then I cut it using my chop saw. I turned it at a 40 degree angle. Upon reflection, I think it would be much easier and safer to use a handheld circular saw. So in the future, I will definitely be doing that instead. Then using a scrap pine board, I cut two boards that were 23 and a half inches long. These will serve as the roof. These boards were a tongue and groove, so I stripped them down on my table saw to give it nice flat edges. Now that I have all of the wood cut, I took one of the front boards and I drilled three holes in it. This will be the holes for the birdhouse. This is the largest bit that I had on hand at the time. A little later on in the video, I will be trying to make the holes a little bit bigger with a different bit. All right, so let's get building. So first off, I laid down the base and then set the two boards front and back and then the side boards. I grabbed my finishing nail gun with my longest nails that I had on hand and I nailed it all together. And then I turned upside down and I used some decking screws and I secured the base to the boards. Now it's time to install the roof and I used those pine boards and I nailed them in with my nail gun. Now it's time for the fun part and I grabbed some smaller nails and loaded up my nail gun. I began nailing all of these canning jar lids to create a shingle look. And as you notice here, some of them do hang over a little bit. I will be trimming them down a little bit later. I did have to adjust my nail gun setting so that the lids didn't puncture in too far as the lids would then just fall off. So for the top, I had some larger lids and I bent them in half using a board and then they laid really nicely on top and I nailed everything in place. Um, and then I'm gonna be priming them using this Rust-Oleum primer. And I do wanna note that some of the jars apparently had some like grease on there and the paint didn't wanna stick very well. So you might wanna make sure that your lids are really clean before you paint them. And then I finished up with a metallic gold spray paint. After that dried, I cut down those lids that were hanging off the edges using some metal tin snips. Now I wanna to try to make these holes a little bit longer. This bit does not work really well in the pre-drilled holes, so it's not the prettiest finish, but I am happier with the larger holes. So now it begins with the saga of the finishing touches. I decided I wanted to add some perches underneath the holes, so I used some old nails, but after I got them on there, I did not like how they looked, so I decided to remove them, which was quite challenging because this is really hard oak wood. Then I decided to cut down a little piece and add that in the front. Uh, I didn't like how that looked either. So then I moved on and tried again with three little perches underneath each hole. The saga continues. Um, I don't like these, so I'm gonna take them off. So I removed those and finally decided to just put these little pegs on instead. So I cut these little um, squares. Step four, put up the birdhouse. I screwed down a board on top of my garden post and then screwed the birdhouse in place. Oh. 
Step five, admire that awesome birdhouse made completely of salvaged and recycled material. Just look at that roof, it is gorgeous. The shingle roof is really the eye catcher here and really gives this piece some really great character. And this cost me hardly anything to build, which is one of my favorite parts. So here it is. I absolutely love how it turned out. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. So I put this in front of my garden up on this post that's uh, holding my garden gate. I just absolutely love looking out my kitchen window and seeing this thing out here. It is gorgeous. I love, love how it turned out. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I will catch you in a later video. Yeah. Hi, baby.